Welcome back. Dudes, what's up? You dudes are awesome, man. Thank you for everything. Because some of you dudes are amazing. I'm telling you, man, some of you guys are smart dudes. I can tell you guys are with the program. And I dig it. You know, and it's and it's it's okay to disagree here, man. If you disagree, tell me. If you have other point of views, tell me. I'm I'm always trying to learn, man. You never stop learning. You never stop learning. I'll never forget when I was talking to this older guy one time and I was like 18. And I was like, I don't know what I want to do when I grow up. And he looked at me and he was like 65. He goes, me too, buddy. I said, there it is. I said, there it is. And here we go. Now we're going to listen to this chick talk about being an independence of females. All right. Boom. Let me tell y'all something, right? Because y'all getting, y'all starting to get us confused. Y'all starting to get us fucking confused, all right? We're not gold diggers. We're independent women, right? So if you are an independent woman and you do everything the fuck by yourself, you're alone, you're singular. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you think she put up that TV in the background? Do you think she put that up? Maybe. Do you think she made that TV in the background? Maybe. You're not with a motherfucker. A motherfucker ain't around you. You by yourself, right? All right, catch this. Now, as a singular woman. What the fuck? <laughs> as a singular woman. She would be so cute, bro, if she just, like, hung out and, like, fried up some chicken or something. Independent woman, right? You clearly already been doing everything by yourself. You used to being alone. You've mastered being alone and you do everything by your fucking self you take care of yourself you provide and nurture yourself and this is what gets me right uh see right there she went into like normal chick mode she's like this is what gets me and you're like okay i'll listen to you but like otherwise like totally gorgeous chick minus all the ink minus the sailor tattoos on her neck this is what gets me right okay independent woman Already scheduled, routine, everything is up to par and consistent, right? You're pampering, you're taking care of yourself, providing for yourself. Wait a second, I thought you said you were independent, man. When's the make the electricity, build the roads? I didn't hear that. I didn't hear grow the food, slaughter the animals to eat, uh, build the roads and skyscrapers. I heard pampering yourself. Okay. For yourself, by yourself. So why the fuck do you think uh, I can't stand when little little chicks just act like they're Tupac Shakur, because I like Tupac Shakur, all right. But like when little girls like this are on the internet and they trying to act like they're gonna do something, and you're not gonna do something, you must weigh eighty pounds, okay? I can't see the rest of you. Who knows? Any woman would want a man to drop himself in the middle of her fucking life that does not even know how to participate or does not feel any obligation to want to do these things. For this woman who's already been doing these things for herself by herself that doesn't make any sense why should i feel obligated to do shit for you if you're doing it for you like I, there's a difference between necessity and obligation guys but you want to be alone with me together the best things that i did for my let's recap her a little bit okay now i'm gonna give her i dig her look i dig it minus the inks super cute chick super cute chick but the attitude is insanity without me running out the fucking door. But she, and the faces, the faces. Just like a, she reminds me, you guys ever hear of Onyx? Onyx is an old school uh, rap group. They'd be like, slam, do, 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 let the boys be boys. Onyx was awesome. She reminds me of Onyx, like in your face. Like she's going to like whip out a gat on you. Look, that's, that is definitely, oh man, that is not fun. All right, let's go to the next one. The best things that I did for myself in my early 20s was getting rid of internalized misogyny, which for me manifested as hyper-independence. Like I wanted to do everything by myself, for myself, to a fault. And in relationships. Yeah. So you grew your own food, you built a cabin out in the wilderness, okay. <laughs> and you And you just made it happen. You distilled the water. You figured it out. You did everything for yourself. I get it. Okay. It's attractive, like, very leechy guys that kind of just, like, absorbed all of my energy and just took and took and took, and I felt like the giving tree. And I think inherently as a girl, when you, like, realize that that's the energy that your partner is giving off, like, you just become, like, super unattracted to them. 
So there's a lot of trial and error, and I was like very confused as to why things weren't working out. And then from a work perspective, I was so bad at asking for help, and I was constantly stressed, like burnt out, like thought about nothing except for work, was just like constantly running on zero. For context, I work in the finance industry, and in hindsight, I realize now that my male coworkers respect me more now that I'm girlier, and I feel- You mean that you're, you're more yourself? I mean, that you're more yourself, like a normal human, you act more normal, so they respect you. I get that. Comfortable asking for help than they did when I was trying to be like more of a bro and like act like one of them. Like, Because you're not. You're not one of us. So why would you act like one of us? It smells fake. They can see through it's the fact not, that it's an... It is fake. What do you mean smells fake? You're not one of the dudes act and because it wasn't genuine like they weren't really like respecting me as much as they do now when i'm kind of like more vulnerable i see this with so much of my generation though younger generations like i think it's a part of girl boss culture and a few other things like new ways of feminism that kind of teach you to dislike some components of like your natural essence i think if you can kind of catch on to where you're pushing people away because you think it'll make them respect you more value you more you'll actually start to move five times faster if you feel more comfortable and learn to lean into asking for help if yeah if you act like a normal human it usually helps like if you go to the office and you're like hey guys i don't understand this shit usually someone wants to tell you i found in my life that you can Get things done so much quicker if you just ask how to, if you're like, hey, I don't know how to do this, bro. <laughs> okay. Because there's always some dude who wants to tell you, hey, bro, here's how to do it. It's so easy. Men don't think twice about asking for anything. They just take. So just be a take. Wait, is it asking or taking, honey bunny? You know, I did like you up until that last little comment. Let's hear that last little comment. What's up with you? Think twice about asking for anything. They just take. So just be a take. Oh, God. Now, guys, we got one more I wanted to do today. This one. We're going to get into this one. Something I learned from my toxic relationship is never date a cheap man. Now that I'm out of the toxic relationship and I'm in the dating scene, well, I'm not really dating, but some guys slide into my DMs and they're like, FaceTime date? Is this a new thing in 2023, ladies? No man is going to FaceTime date me prior to meeting them. That just Look at how fucking angry these women are. The last chick wasn't that angry. I'll give it to her. She was more my speed of, of quiet. Shows that they're cheap if they're asking you to FaceTime date. So they want to see what you look like and make sure you're not catfishing them. Yeah, okay. That is a huge red flag. A man that can't organize a date for you, come and pick you up, find a nice steakhouse or a nice Italian restaurant and get you some drinks and some wine is cheap. If they're asking you for a FaceTime date, please block. <clears throat> Gentlemen, here's my problem with a lot of these women when they say you should take me out on some nice elaborate date. A lot of them don't know how to like use a knife and fork. A lot of them don't know how to pair wine. They know nothing about steaks. They don't know about cuts of steaks. They don't know anything about fine dining. They really don't. They want you to take them out to like a $300 dinner and they don't know how to pair wine with food. They don't know what knife to use. Okay. They don't know how to use a napkin. I'm just saying, but I see a lot of these women come out here and, and they're, they're, they, they want the Queen Elizabeth treatment, but they have no class whatsoever. I have blocked every single one of the guys. And if you're on here looking at this, you guys slide into my DMs and ask for a FaceTime date, you're going to get blocked. Don't get it. I've spent two hours of my morning. All right, that girl's crying. But again, we're gonna do a recap. Okay, so we have this chick right here. I don't I don't think I don't think she knows how to behave in a nice restaurant. I don't think she knows how. You know, just look at her in the face. Ah, ah! I don't think she knows how to behave. Then we have what we have, these ones over here. Now oh God. Something, right? <laughs> this one over here, bro. This one. Again, both of well, they're all good looking chicks, but this one here, would you bring either one of these two chicks to a nice restaurant? Because they'd like probably like stab you with the steak knife. They'd be like, yo, I said, I said, well done. They're the kind of chicks who order like a well done steak and ruin the whole thing and it costs 80 bucks. This one, on the other hand, I can deal with. I can deal with. She's admitting her faults. She's like, you know what? Maybe I should just be myself and not a raging asshole. But I dig her, the quiet. But again, we're out. And guys, thank you for everything. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.